Today, Commander Whitson, you have broken the record for the most total time spent in space by an American astronaut, 534 days and counting. That's an incredible record to break. And on behalf of our nation and, frankly, on behalf of the world, I'd like to congratulate you. That is really something. And I'd like to know, how does it feel to have broken such a big and important record? Well, it's actually a huge honor uh, to break a record like this. But it, it's an honor for me, back basically, to be representing all the folks at NASA uh, who make this space flight possible and who make me setting this record feasible. And so it's a very exciting time to be at NASA. Uh, we are all very much looking forward. As directed by your new uh, NASA bill, we're excited about the missions to Mars in the 2030s. And so we are actually physically have hardware on the ground that's being built uh, for the SLS rocket that's going to take us there. Uh, and the, of course, the hardware being built now is going to be for the test flights that will eventually get us there. But it's a very exciting time, and I'm so proud of the team. Great. And what are we learning from having you spending your time up there? I know so much research is done. I'm getting a glimpse of some of it right here in the Oval Office. What are we learning by being in space? Well, I think probably the International Space Station, space Station is providing a key bridge from us doing uh, um, living on Earth to going somewhere into deep space. So on those Mars missions, we need to better understand how microgravity is really affecting our body, and we need to understand it in great detail. So many of the studies are looking at the human body. We're also looking at things that, that uh, involve operations of a space vehicle on these long-duration missions and the technological advancements that were, will be required. For instance, on a multi-year Mars mission, we're going to need to be able to close the life support system. And that means we, right now, for instance, are taking solar power that we collect and using it to break apart water into oxygen and hydrogen. The oxygen we breathe, of course, we use the hydrogen, combine it back with the CO2 that we take out of the air and make more water. Uh, but water is such a uh, precious resource up here that we also uh, are cleaning up our urine and making it drinkable, and it's really not as bad as it sounds. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Better you than me. I will say, uh, Colonel Fisher, you just arrived. And how was your trip? Complicated, easy? How did it go? Oh, sir, it was awesome. Uh, it, it made even my beloved F-22 feel a, a little bit underpowered. It was, uh, you know, I, I, I launched in a Russian vehicle with my Russian friend, Fyodor Yurchikin, uh, from Kazakhstan. Uh, you know, got the immediate perspective change as, as we got to orbit, and I saw that frail, thin blue line of life around the Earth. Six hours later, we're docked to the station. The next day, I install an experiment uh, in the Japanese module that's going to be looking at new drugs and, and how we can make those drugs for muscular dystrophy, Alzheimer's, uh, multi-drug resistant bacteria, all sorts of things. A couple hours later, I, I watched our crewmate Thomas Pesquet, a Frenchman, drive a Canadian robotic arm to capture a spaceship from Virginia carrying three and a half tons of cargo and science that's going to keep us busy for the next few months and dock that to the station. Sir, it's, it's amazing. Oh, and then, you know, now I'm talking to the President of the United States while hanging <laughs> from a wall. It, it, it's amazing. The, the International Space Station is by far the best example of international cooperation and what we can do when we work together in the history of humanity. And I am so proud to be a part of it. Uh, you know, and it, it's also just cool. Like <laughs> yesterday, I, I had, well, there you go. There's our resident space ninja doing the gravity demonstration. And yesterday morning, I had my coffee in floaty ball form, and, sir, it was delicious. <laughs> so it's awesome.